Craft is at the core of what we do here at Daiichi Sankyo. Everyone who works here has been mastering their craft to collectively create innovative medicines that provide better futures for our patients. In this series, we're talking to people who work at Daiichi Sankyo who have dedicated to the mastery of their craft. One of those people is my friend Dalila Salami. Dalila, I remember meeting you in September 2019 when I first joined. And I remember being struck by your most amazing backgrounds. Grew up in Tunisia, studied medicine in Paris, was the first radio oncologist in Tunisia, and then you chose to come to Daiichi Sankyo. It is a pleasure to be here with you today. Thank you, Simon. And I do remember that first meeting I had with you. The other thing I really know about you is you really care. You care about patients, you care about the people with you, and you've spent a long time really crafting uh, your skills that you bring to Daiichi Sankyo. So tell me a bit about what is your craft? I would say my craft is innovation, my craft is resilience, my craft is leadership. We're in the serious business of bringing new medicines to uh, cancer patients. Has cancer touched your life in any way? Yes, I lost my sister to colon cancer and I lost very dear friends to pancreatic cancer and others. So all my career working with, with patients, obviously, was with cancer, but it did touch me on a personal level, yes. How does that drive you each day? I wish that we would have had a, a treatment for her and that drives me. What's in my mind when I come to work really is to find a solution and help cancer patients wherever they are. And I, I see that turning up being passionate every day with that drive to how can you improve uh, the lives of patients makes such a difference. So with your team, when you're practicing that craft, what is it that your team experiences when you bring innovation, resilience and leadership? The team uh, that work together to, to bring this medicine, they are more than a team. They are, for me, a, a family. What makes us uh, successful and helping patients is we, if we want to care for a patient, we have to care for the people who work to develop this medicine for patients. Now you talked about your team as family and the magic of teamwork. What is it that you have done that allows your team to really feel that way and work in that way? To make sure that my team is working in a cohesive way, I give them direction, the vision, and then I empower them. And I know that from our interactions and conversation, you're always fully present you always listen really, really hard, and then you're able to give advice and coaching, which I really appreciate. My team is, is so diverse, designing clinical trials, actually conducting these clinical trials to uh, bring them to, to patients. Uh, others are working on making sure that those clinical trials results are submitted to health authorities, uh, and others are preparing on how they make this treatment accessible to patients and uh, this is what they do on, the, on, on a daily basis. So what does impact mean to you? Impact has a lot of meaning to me. Bringing this medicine to cancer patients, not just in a, uh, in, a, in a local setting, but across the globe and to as many people as possible. People who come to Deishi Sankru, they are motivated, they are committed, they, they have this passion to, to help. In the next episode of Wearcraft Meets, I will interview Gisu de Gaulis, Head of Global Advocacy Oncology at Daishi Sankyo.